think basically the thing was we wanted to do it simple. Today you can do everything. You can put a drive a car into to space. You can do uh, everything is possible, and it looks quite realistic. It's harder to believe something supernatural taking place. So we thought we we have to get back to the primitive uh, animation, having things moved in an organic way. It means that we, if we had a cupboard moving, we would have a man in the cupboard and moving the cupboard ahead. If you have a teapot moving, we would have a, having it puppeteered into the air and then crashing down. For the stunt effects, and particularly the ones with our lead actors, we really wanted to try to do them as much as possible, seeing the characters experiencing these very you know, powerful physical moments. So we're very lucky to be able to plan them and work them out thoroughly with the stunt coordinator. Janet's in her bedroom and she's crying and the curtain suddenly starts to sort of blow in the wind and it gradually starts to come alive and wrap around her neck. It's made backwards. The curtain is lowered and then it's tied around Eleanor who plays Janet in the story and then it's pulled off her and by playing it backwards you have a curtain suddenly going down attacking her in a very organic way. There's a stunt element which is that she's wearing a harness and is suspended in a in a rig which allows some quite strong blokes to pull her up into the air safely. Matthew comes in, he has a wire in his back and he's physically withdrawn up to the other wall. We've done a rehearsal day already and Matthew's already done the stunt several times. He's amazing and he's a big guy, you know, and he takes a big whack into the wall. Three, two, one, action! It's nice to be doing the actual stunt with the actual actor. There's so many people involved. We've got puppeteers moving the curtain, we've got special effects using wind. You've got visual effects, erasing wires, and then you've got stunts. But it's, uh, it's good, it's looking amazing at the moment, so we're really, really pleased. 